iSpring just released iSpring Suite 9, the new revolution in e-learning authoring software. The most anticipated update is iSpring QuizMaker 9, with its drag-and-drop questions and many other enhancements. Let's check out the main changes in the interface. The QuizMaker toolbar has been significantly restructured. First of all, the survey and graded question lists have been combined into one gallery where you can easily find and add your favorite question types. The most popular questions, multiple choice and multiple response, are at the very beginning of the list, and the new drag and drop question type is also there. Now you can control what appears in your quiz introduction all in one spot. The familiar intro slide and user info request form have been moved here, and there's now a special slide which you can use to give your learners instructions before they start the quiz. The feedback and branching and question options are now all available right on the same screen. Now you don't have to switch between tabs at the bottom. Everything is right at your fingertips, below and to the right of the question. Here you can select whether your question is graded or not, and there's even a slide thumbnail below which shows a small preview of your content. If you want to edit the feedback, click the ellipsis just like in the previous version. Here you can change the feedback for correct and incorrect answers, and add audio with this button. You can add pictures, video, and audio to your question either from the toolbar or right here in the question area. Let's add a picture. Now that it's added, I can see the properties over here on the right. Now I'm going to switch over here to slide view mode to fine tune how it looks on the slide. Plus I can easily switch between different layers, feedback messages, the multiple attempts message, and the main slide content. Now let me show you how easy it is to add equations like the ones here in this incorrect feedback message. Here in slide view, just go to the insert tab and click equation. It's easier than ever before to add equations with the complete library of mathematical structure notation and symbols, and if you're familiar with the MS Office equation editor, you'll already know how to do it. Over here in form view, the Equation button is available right on the toolbar. The Insert tab has been enhanced with a lot of new features such as shapes, text boxes, video, and audio. Every object that you insert can be right-clicked and formatted just like in PowerPoint. You can modify all the properties over here on the right panel in the familiar interface. The result slides have now been consolidated into a single item at the end of the question list. Just like feedback messages, you can edit pass and fail slides here on the tabs and form view, or do it over here in slide view with the layers. All result slide options can be found over here on the right, and users can review the results and retake a failed quiz if you give them the option. The slides also contain user-specific variables that are generated during the quiz to provide more information. Now let's check out the player settings. These are pretty much the same as in the previous version, but now you can access the navigation options right here instead of the quiz properties. Finally, let's check out the publish window. As you can see, it's been greatly simplified with small pop-up windows instead of tabs to manage things like quiz size and quality settings. You'll also notice that the output is only HTML5 now, since that format is all you need for perfect playback on all devices. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this overview of all the new features and enhancements in iSpring QuizMaker 9.